Welcome back. In today's video, we will see how to set up Einstein Activity Capture for Email Sync in Salesforce. So let's start. First of all, you have to go to Setup and check if the permission set is assigned to the profile or user or not. So let's go to the setup and uh, search for users. Choose the user and then click on permission set assignments. Click on edit assignments and select the permission set standard Einstein activity capture and click on save. Now you have assigned the required permission set. Let's go to Einstein activity capture and do the required settings. Einstein activity captures. Let's click on get started and we will continue with the terms accepted and then choose the email service which you want to uh, sync with the uh, sales code. So I am selecting Microsoft Office 365. Click on next and uh, connect the email and calendar account to Salesforce. I will select this and click on next. Now here I will write Outlook 365 to sales course and click on next. Now here are some settings which we need to review. Emails are added to the activity timeline of related Salesforce record. Okay, I want to enable this. Events are synced between the connected account and Salesforce. So I don't want to in uh, like sync the events. Or calendar invites so i will disable this also new contacts and content updates sync between the connected accounts and for contact data is used to create email insights and recommended connections so let's enable this option as well and click on next when user first connect their account to salesforce include email sent within last 180 days okay so here if we like set up icin activity capture it will allow us to sync the emails from last 180 days maximum and if you want don't want to sync the uh, historical emails then click on zero day same for events and specify the contact so when a contact matches multiple salesforce contact sync it with salesforce contact that has the most recent activity so if you are having multiple contacts then what we want to do so i am choosing the most recent contact activity Specify the condition a contact must meet for it to sync. I don't want to add any condition, but you can add here. Let's remove it and click on next. Now here, the user we have to choose. I we have already given the permission sets. That is why this is visible here. So if you are not able to see the user list here, then please check if you have assigned the permission set or not. So let's select it and click on next. Now, if you want to exclude some domains, if you want to exclude the emails from a specific domain, then you can include them here. Click on next. And here you can see, check the set default activity sharing. If you don't share, click on next. And here we can review what we have done and click on finish. Now it will take some time to like uh, enable Einstein activity capture in Salesforce. Sometimes it takes complete day. So you have to wait for it. Once the activity capture is enabled, you will see one pop up here. So let me show you the pop up with I have in any org. Right. The time it opens once this is enabled you have to go to your personal settings so click on this icon and click on settings and here you will see an option of connected accounts under that email and calendar accounts and here click on this then you have to add your account here so you have to add your microsoft account here and then the email will start seeing you can see this option will be visible once the 
can see an activity capture is enabled this will be visible to you so this is how you can set up i see an activity capture to sync emails and events with salesforce that's it in this video please like the video subscribe to my youtube channel share the video with your friends and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you very much